handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Oak Lawn Park here on Friday. It is the 15th of December, 2023. Didn't forget the date. I'm going to look at the ninth race from Oak Lawn, but, but, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the ninth from Oak Lawn, which is allowance optional claimer purse, $142,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. We've never won 24000 twice in the main claim starter or state bird allowance race. We have a field of 11 horses entered to go the 1,700-meter journey or mile and 1 16th on the Oak Lawn main track. My top selection here, I'm going to go take the number one horse, Command Performance. I'm going to go 1876 in the Superfecta. 1876 Super. Top selection of one horse command performance. It's four year old Gillen by Union Rags here. Joe Sharp trains. Christian Torres gets them out. Uh, the horse's most recent out came in mid November, 11th to be exact, at Churchill. A mile in the eighth and optional 80 claimer. And the horse went by head that day. He was stupidly wide, but he had a good pace to close up into. And he got there, you know, with some time left over. He was drifting a little bit late, which probably almost cost him the victory. But he, he ran his heart out that day. Not a bad race after all said and done. Refreshing to Oakland today for the first time. Should be a, see a strong pace to close up into. I think he could get another trip to win here today. Two back, he ran the 14th of October at Keeneland, a mile 16th, an optional 80 claimer. And he finished second by a neck that day. And again, he, he sat back early, a little bit wide. He had the lead. He got caught in the lane, but he outran his 35 to 1 odds that day. Not a bad race after all said and done, second off the bench. And then first off the bench uh, on the lawn, his only lawn race at Kentucky Downs, mile 5, 16th, off 6 2 claimer. He finished ninth by 27 and quarter lengths that day. He had absolutely nothing from wide post draw. Just not a turf horse there uh, and then at Ellis in mid-June one mile optional 80 finished fourth by seven and a quarter lengths that day and again he just never really got into it it took him a little bit of time to get going since he's gotten to the sharp barn but you know his last two races he's running respectable performances you know last year was under the care of Todd Pletcher where he was running okay in spots you know he, he was in his um he was based actually at Monmouth last summer, and he won two races there quite nicely. Refreshing here today, he could definitely win. I think the eight horse here, at full screen for Ricardo Santana Jr. or Marcassi could possibly upset. This horse has been making is going to make his third start, uh, you know, in different uh, locations. Most recently, he's been from the East Coast to the West Coast, now to the Midwest. Most recently on the West Coast at Del Mar, a mile and optional eighty. He finished third by a neck, and he's setting the pace. He got caught late, but he ran his heart out around two turns. Prior to that, here in New York at Aqueduct, one mile and 80 on the 2nd of November. He finished third by one three-quarter lengths, and again, he was flying on the front end. He just hit the wall late, but he ran his heart out that day. And then early October at Aqueduct, a mile and off 62. He finished second by three-quarters length. Stupidly wide, and he just couldn't keep up late. Since coming to dirt, he's really improved a lot. Coming to Oakland today, I'll give him a shot uh, on the ticket at 7-2 in this very good workhorse. Uh, but to recap my selection for the ninth from Oakland, gonna take the one-horse command performance. Give kudos to the eight-horse full screen. one eight seven six super one eight in your multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.